Hello and welcome to Jira workflow tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about the conditions or the Jira workflow conditions. So Jira workflow condition, if you want to edit the Jira workflow condition, click on any of the transition and it will give you a list of options here. So properties, triggers, triggers we discussed in the last tutorial. Conditions is what we are going to discuss now. So either you do this way or you go into the text mode and in the text mode you can select a transition and then set up the conditions for the um, transitions. Now let me move to the text mode and in the text mode say for example I want certain conditions to be fulfilled before an issue is transitioned from one state to another state so for example from open to in testing right now uh, let's let's choose a transition in testing and then we'll update the condition so now I'm in the transition in testing and there are multiple uh, statuses that are using the transition in testing so from in development you can move to in testing from done you can move to in testing and from reopened you can move to in testing now what can what a condition is so at the moment you can see there are no conditions specified now you can click on add condition and then we'll walk through what all conditions are available in Jira by default so you can see that block transition until approval right so what this conditions does is it says condition to block issue transition if there is a pending approval so for example in your workflow you have an approval um, uh, status as well and until that approval is done then you want to block the transition then you can select that particular uh, condition and similarly there are uh, say for example only assignee conditions or condition to allow only the assignee to execute a transition that means only a person who is assigned this particular issue will be able to transition from a particular status to another status or only a reporter condition so only a condition in which only a reporter of this particular issue will be able to execute the transition so these all are sort of conditions similarly you have the permission condition um, wherein you can set up only the users with certain permissions to execute this transition right uh, then you have users in group users in group custom field or users in a, is in a project role so group and project role are very common one wherein you want a person to be in a particular group to execute a transition from one state to another state and very common scenario is when uh, the developer uh, picks um, the story for development and then a story gets moved from development to testing it should be only with the person who is doing the development or is, in, is a member of the developer group so in those sort of scenarios it is very important to define these conditions what we'll do is I'll go back we'll um, go back to this workflow and we'll pick so from open to in development and then from in development to um, sort of I'll say this complete transition now that's basically I think we need to go back to the workflow and see what all transitions are available from in development to testing and see whether that's basically so from in development to in testing okay so what we need to do is basically we need to update this in testing um, transition condition to say that only developer or person who is in the development group will be transitioning an issue from in development to in testing but the problem with that would be because this transition in testing is shared by other uh, statuses as well so that will block anyone uh, you know like moving uh, an issue from done to in testing and reopen to in testing as well so which means that we have to have either a different transition for from done to in testing but rest to all fine because once a issue has been um, moved from development to in testing it should be only the developer who can move the uh, 
the issue from in development to testing and similarly if I if an issue got failed or story got failed uh, testing has failed then a developer should be moving it back from reopen to in testing again after fixing that issue so we'll leave the done as is for now and then we'll add a condition for this transition so I'll add a condition saying that user is in group and then we'll say user is in group developer right so I'll say developers and then add that particular condition so now you can see only users in group developers can execute this transition so what this means is a transition from in development to in testing or this in testing transition can be performed only by the persons who are the members of the group developers right now we go back to the workflow again and just open the workflow and we'll edit a few things in this workflow to fix the done to in testing state so here what we have we have same uh, in testing transition from done to in testing so what we'll do is we'll see uh, from done we'll change that transition or sorry we'll delete it and we'll delete the in testing transition and then we'll add another transition from in testing to done and then we'll say just done and from done maybe we'll add another transition to reopen just in case we'll say more work required right so now if you see this workflow so we have a, a status uh, or an issue will be in open state from the open state a issue will move automatically to in development as soon as the, the branch is created because we have added a trigger as we have seen in the previous tutorial and from development an issue can move to in testing and then from in testing back to development and once the testing failed it can be reopened and then from reopened to back to development or it, if it passes it can be moved to done and if it is from done it can be again moved to reopen or reopen there is a, another transition that I have added and um, say for example more work required and then uh, move to reopen so this is a bit um, refined as per the condition so we'll go back to the condition uh, which was from development to in testing and see the condition again now you see the only users in group developers can execute this transition and since I have removed that transition from done to in testing now we only have a transition in testing from in development to in testing or reopen to in testing and which makes sense because only developers should be moving the issues from in development or reopen state to in testing state now the next thing to note here is that you have the option to add multiple conditions so if you click on add condition you can select multiple conditions from this list whatever you want to choose and then you can also have the option to select all of the following condition or any of the following condition so if you select any of the following condition that means as far as any of the conditions multiple conditions that you choose here are full, fulfilled if any one of that is fulfilled it will be um, move to next state but uh, if you select all of the following condition that means a person has to be member of the developers group or if you choose another condition to um, so that uh, only reporter condition then a person has to be a reporter as well as to be a member of the developers group to 
transition an issue from development to testing. So for example, here only the reporter of the issue can execute this transition and only users in this group uh, developer can execute this transition. So once both of them are fulfilled, then the transition can happen from in development to testing or in testing transition can happen. So that's all about conditions in Jira workflow tutorial. Thank you for watching.